Norway is planning to build the world's first full-scale ship tunnel, known as the Stad Ship Tunnel, to enable cruise liners, freight ships, and smaller vessels to take an underground shortcut through the Stad Peninsula and avoid the rough winds and waters of the Stadhavet Sea, the most treacherous stretch of Norway's coastline. The tunnel is expected to cost around US$312 million to complete and will burrow through the narrowest point of the Stadhavet Peninsula, making the project more doable, as the tunnel won't actually be that long. This tunnel project is part of Norway's grand plan to enhance its infrastructure and construction, and the tunnel will allow ships to travel faster and more safely along the country's coastline. The Stad Ship Tunnel is expected to be completed by 2025 and will be approximately 1.7 kilometers long, 36 meters wide, and 49 meters tall. Once completed, it will provide a unique and exciting experience for cruise ship passengers, while also reducing travel time and improving safety for all types of vessels. The Stad Ship Tunnel would allow cruise ships and other vessels to avoid the rough waters off the Stad Peninsula in western Norway. The Stad Peninsula is known for its treacherous waters, with strong currents and high waves, making it difficult for ships to navigate safely. The proposed tunnel would be large enough to accommodate large cruise ships, ferries, and other vessels, and would help to improve safety and reduce the risk of accidents in this area. The project has been under discussion for many years, and feasibility studies and environmental impact assessments have been carried out. If built, the Stad Ship Tunnel would be a significant engineering feat and would help to improve safety and efficiency for ships traveling along the Norwegian coast. Norway is currently in the process of constructing several major transportation projects, including the world's first floating tunnel and an underwater tunnel. The proposed floating tunnel would consist of a pair of concrete tubes submerged about 100 feet below the water's surface, helping to cut travel time between Kristiansand and Trondheim by almost half. This ambitious project includes the creation of the world's first floating highway, known as the Coastal Highway Route E39 which will cut down the travel time between the two cities from 21 hours to just 10 hours. In addition to the floating highway, there are plans to construct a $47 billion underwater tunnel system that would run for 1,100 kilometers and connect the cities of Kristiansand and Trondheim. The underwater tunnel system would be a part of the larger coastal highway Route E39 project and would consist of several tunnels, some of which will be submerged below the water level. The tunnel system would allow for all-weather transportation, thereby improving the connectivity of the coastal cities of Norway. The Norwegian Public Roads Administration is responsible for the implementation of this project, which is aimed at reducing travel time and promoting sustainable development. In addition to the floating tunnel, Norway is also constructing an underwater tunnel that will link the cities of Stavanger and Bergen. The Rogfest project, which began construction in late 2017, is expected to cost about $1.9 billion and will reduce travel time by 40 minutes. The tunnel will be the first of its kind in Norway and one of the longest and deepest underwater tunnels in the world. The Famarnbel Tunnel is an upcoming immersed tunnel project that will connect the Danish island of Lowland with the German island of Femern, crossing the Femern Belt in the Baltic Sea. It will be the world's longest immersed tunnel and Denmark's largest infrastructure project. The tunnel will be approximately 18 kilometers long and will pass underneath the Femern Belt, which is a strait that separates Germany and Denmark. The project is being carried out by the Danish state-owned company Femern AS. The tunnel will cut travel time between Denmark and Germany and create a direct connection between Scandinavia and Central Europe. The tunnel is designed to accommodate both passenger and freight trains, as well as cars and trucks. The Famarnbel Tunnel is a major infrastructure project that will require significant resources and investment. The estimated cost of the project is approximately 7 billion euros and it is being funded by a combination of public and private financing. 
Construction of the tunnel began in the summer of 2020 and is expected to be completed by 2029. The project has faced several legal challenges and delays, but it is currently under construction. Once completed, the Famarnmal Tunnel will be part of Europe's sustainable transport network of the future. It is expected to provide significant economic benefits by improving transportation links and promoting growth in the region. The Peljasak Bridge, also known as Poljeski Most in Croatian, is a cable-stayed bridge located in Dubrovnik Neretva County, Croatia. The bridge provides a fixed link from the southeastern Croatian semi-exclave to the rest of the country while bypassing Bosnia and Herzegovina's short coastal strip at noon. The construction of the bridge was initiated in 2007, and it was officially opened on March 1, 2023. The Peljasak Bridge is considered one of the biggest moments in Croatian history. The bridge's opening has provided a fixed link between southern coastal areas and the rest of the country, making travel easier for Croatians who had to cross land controlled by Bosnia and Herzegovina. The bridge is 2.4 kilometers long and has two lanes for vehicles, as well as a path for pedestrians and bicycles. It is expected to be a major landmark in the region, attracting tourists and providing a convenient transportation route for locals and visitors alike, and is expected to significantly reduce travel time between the southern Adriatic coast and the rest of Croatia. The bridge was built by a Chinese consortium led by the China Road and Bridge Corporation, at a cost of approximately 420 million euros. The bridge is designed to withstand strong winds and earthquakes, and has a lifespan of 100 years. It also has a capacity of 5,000 vehicles per day and is expected to boost tourism and economic development in the region. The Seine-Schelt project, also known as the Seine-Schelt Canal or the Canal Seine Nord Europe, is a large infrastructure project aimed at connecting the Seine and Schelt rivers in northern France and Belgium. The project aims to create a navigable waterway that will allow barges and ships to travel from the Paris region to the ports of Dunkirk and Antwerp, bypassing the congested waterways of the English Channel. The Seine Scheldt Canal will be approximately 107 kilometers long and will include seven locks and 12 aqueducts. The project is expected to cost around 4.5 billion euros and is being funded by the European Union, the French government, and the Belgian government. The Shelter Escot, as it is known in French, is a 435-kilometer-long river that flows through northern France, western Belgium, and the southwestern part of the Netherlands, with its mouth at the North Sea. The Seine, on the other hand, is a major river in northern France that flows through Paris and empties into the English Channel. The canal is expected to have a significant impact on the economies of the regions it will connect, as it will provide a more efficient and cost-effective mode of transportation for goods. It is also expected to reduce road congestion and improve the environment by reducing emissions from road transport. Construction of the seine scheldt Canal began in 2018 and is expected to be completed by 2028.